Okay, welcome. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm just trying to switch it up and learn some new things as we go here, so thanks for tuning in. As you can see, this is me in the UFC gym with my trainer, uh, Byron. Gonna be doing some boxing today. Um, first, I'll talk about today how I felt. I wasn't in, for I seem to be in this up and down, one day really good, one day not so good. But at least when now when I have the not so good day, at least I can recover and get out of it. So, and what really helped was this boxing session. So throughout the day, I wasn't feeling that good. Got a haircut. I think I got a sunburn, so my face is all shiny. Got the olivera on it. But I found that moving around like excessively is really good for me, and it helps just push the negative out of my body and spins it around. So in this video, you'll see. This is just a warm-up session, and then me and him actually spar, but the video was too long, so I just kind of did the initial part and wanted to talk to you guys about it along the way. Um, how was your day? I hope it was good. I know you can't answer, um, but it, things have been going really good. Um, so let's just skip ahead. It's not very long, it's just this is my fourth time ever boxing, as you can see in the top corner here, fourth ever boxing session. Um, so this basically what we do is we just, just starting out and just hitting the pads and he just starts with combos. So it just tells me like jab, 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 hook, hook. And as you can see, my form isn't the greatest. If you're a boxer, you definitely know my form is not the greatest. Um, but it's just, what this does, I find for me, is it just gets my mind, like I'm totally involved when I'm doing this. And just focus on what the trainer's saying and focusing on hitting the pads. Obviously my hook is terrible, I need to get my elbow up higher. Um, but it just feels good to, to really focus 100% on something and use your body for it. I just find that boxing or jiu-jitsu, any of these things are just really good for my mind and my body. So here I'm just learning different combos, telling me to move around, bounce. And later on, I get so freaking tired. You would not believe how tiring boxing is. When you see professionals on camera, they go three minutes, three minute rounds, and they do like 10 to 12 of them in like championship fights. When we started sparring, I think we were we were doing two minute rounds, but I was only about 20 seconds into it, and I I felt like I was gonna throw up. I was just so exhausted. When your arms are up and you're just always, always punching, and the gloves, they're not heavy, but over time when you're just holding them up and punching and punching, it just gets exhausting. So what he does is exhaust me as much as he possibly can with just punches. So here is like five minutes straight of just nonstop punching and moving. And it just teaches you to focus on everything, your movement, your timing, your breathing, your energy. And then, so he drains the energy out of me so bad. And then we spar after. So sparring is just like a light fighting. And so he drains all my energy just so at the end when we spar, it's to resemble what it would be like in a real fight. If you get really tired, you have to remember the fun fundamentals because in the sparring match, I just kept dropping my hands because they're so tired. And then if you do that in a fight, you just get knocked out. So what he does is exhaust me and then at the sparring, just keeps reminding me to keep my hands up. And it's just such a good, thing for my mind my body and everything else and what I'm doing with this video is I'm just learning how to be able because I've seen people on YouTube in videos they have a screen up and then they're talking in the bottom right corner about the video so that's what I'm trying to learn here so there's no real script there's no real mission of this video or, or sorry no message sorry um, but the just want to learn how to get better at these and then I'm gonna also learn how to edit them because Eventually, I'm gonna set a date to actually box somebody, and then you'll be able to see the progress. The when I first started, the middle, and then when I actually go box this person, you can see if there's the improvement. And the goal is just to stay uncomfortable and just keep doing things that excite me and keep me motivated, but do it on video so I'm putting myself out there and it just holds me accountable for it. And then hopefully, it inspires you to 
go after whatever it is that you want to do things that make you feel good and make you feel better about yourself oh i think that's it so that's gonna be it for that video so we just we did five minutes straight there of punching i believe it was and then we go into power punching next and then we spar but the video wasn't too long so i hope you enjoyed that oh max holloway i don't know what that is so yeah that's gonna be it for today we can always end with the one minute of visualization so i hope you enjoyed that video i know it's not the usual but it's just for me to learn how to get better at these videos how to be able to stream and then i can use this and then learn from it to get better because that's the mission not to be perfect i don't want to be perfect well i'd love to be perfect but um i just know that it's impossible to be perfect so i'm just putting out videos every day and i'm learning something from every video and i hope there's something that you're learning i put a little message into them and today's was hopefully just to get out there and do do something that you want to do if you haven't did it or if you haven't done it in a while just put yourself out there get moving and it just can really change because i've sat still for too long and when i get moving it really really helps so i hope it helps you so let's get into one minute visualization it's just where you close your eyes and imagine your life going exactly how you want it for one minute. And tomorrow's video, uh, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, but it will be probably back to the blue chair. I really like sitting and almost journaling with that. So if you haven't yet, please give a subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.